Yo! What's up, dudes and peeps and gearheads and not gearheads and people stopping by and I don't know. Look at this thing! This is badassery at its finest. This is the Olite S1 Baton. And this little shit puts out 500 lumens on one CR-123. I'm just making a real quick video right now, compared to some stuff. But, uh, badassery. One CR-123 at 500 lumens. And it'll go for a while. It'll go for an hour and a half, two hours, and then it'll, it'll, uh, or no, it'll go for, I think it's down to the minutes, but and then it'll cut down to 300 lumens, but... 500 looms. 500 looms. It's got uh, multiple modes. You can cycle through low, medium, high. You can hold it from off, go into moonlight. You can double, no, that's a timer. You can set timers for it to automatically go off if you're in a tent or something, you know, getting ready. And then, uh, triple click from on. And it strobes at 500! And then it doesn't, it comes back on the previous mode before strobe, because it, you know, obviously thinks you're not going to want to turn it back on and strobe. But look how teeny! Look at this! This is one CR-123, 500 lumens. Classy as shit. Classy as hell. Got the anodized aluminum, I do believe. Little side switch. Magnetic. So you can stick it under your hood, stick it to the side of your door, reading maps, you know, whatever. But one CR 123, 500 lumens. One CR 123, 550 lumens. So, so, you know. <laughs> Obviously, tons more modes. Got the the slider ring, the uh, adjustment ring, and all kind of more stuff. But my whole philosophy is that if you carry a weapon like I do, you got to pack lumens, and it's got to have strobe. 500 lumens has strobe. 550 lumens, slightly more, has strobe. Look at the difference. <laughs> and this has the magnetic tail cap. Um, which I actually kind of like a little more than having a rear button. Obviously not for tactical use, but I kind of like the mag the idea of having a magnetic tail cap a little more than having a rear t rear uh, clicky switch. But yeah, that's compared. This is the Nightcore SRT3 Defender. I uh, EDC'd this for a very long time until this now. But uh, let's do the. Olight S1 Baton. Here is the Streamlight Micro Stream. Um, here is a standard Zippo lighter. Standard Zippo lighter. <laughs> um, here is a Zippo Slim, one of the smaller versions of the Zippo. Sweetness. I mean, this just fits into, like, a classy gentleman's EDC, I think. Um, here's my Leatherman Juice. And this is, like, a smaller to mid-size pocket multi-tool. And, uh, that's just way smaller. Um, here's a little turtle statue. And then here is a children's Halloween ring that was on a cupcake. <laughs> it's, like, half as big as the Olight. But, uh... Yeah, as of lately, um, I kind of got away from it the last couple days, but for about a week to two weeks, just because of, you know, the, to go along with the theme of this, I carried, I have a Glock 43 now, but uh, my I've said it before in videos, my philosophy on having a very good light, uh, if you do conceal carry, but I kind of wanted to go with the theme of this, of super micro, lightweight stuff, so I've been carrying the Leatherman Squirt PS4. And then the ultra lightweight SOG Aegis Mini or Mini Aegis. Um, 
This thing's like 2.1 ounces or something like that. Oops. I got the tripod. Um, I have to buy another tripod. We're using the one that I used to use for videos for uh, the baby monitor. So I'm kind of free balling it right now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've been carrying this as EDC. Uh, I got to get out some type of scale or something and weigh it. But I mean, for this entire setup, light, multi tool, and knife probably weighs about the same as, you know, a knife like this. This is a Kershaw Cryo 2. Uh, probably weighs about the same, maybe less. So I've just been kind of messing around with the ultra light EDC. And I like it. Completely disappears. You don't know you have anything other than, you know, your phone and gun until you need, you know, a little thing of uh, pliers or a light or a knife or something like that. Pretty cool little concept. Um, but yeah, freaking S1 Baton. Picked this up at Going Gear. I like their YouTube channel. I like the guy. Uh, cool small business. But, you know, this is the... <laughs> my freaking Chuck Key's bigger. You know, lengthwise. It's obviously thinner and stuff like that. But here, let's look at the... One CR-123. They're both one CR-123. Look at that. And then, uh, here, let's look at the, look at that. Crazy. This is more of a floodlight than it is a thrower. Uh, let me turn off the lights here. All right, give you some very unprofessional um, beam shots here just on the floor. There's still some light coming in and stuff, but there's low, there's medium, and there's high at 500 and the fact that it doesn't have an actual lens um, it has kind of a there's no lens it's just concave like a bowl almost and then there's a little lens that's over top of the um, LED itself and that gives it that real smooth um, you know no hot spots that real smooth edge to it so it will it will flood a room pretty good, flood a backyard pretty good, but it's definitely not, you know, a pinpoint thrower like the Streamlight Stinger or something like that, but badassery at its finest. Excellent work, Olight. I will be my, buying more Olights. Um, this was my first Olight ever, and it is sexy. <laughs> Have a good one.